Hey guys, today I want to share with you on one of the things that I've done with my husband as we got married after a year and it's been very successful, successful for us um, in terms of aligning our goals and uh, our vision together as a family. And I share with a couple of my friends who comment to me that I should make a video to share with others because this might be helpful for others as well. So I thought, sure, why not? Uh, I'm going to totally geeking out right now and uh, talk about strategic planning. Oftentimes you hear the word strategic planning and you think about work and their vision, the goals and the big organizations. But if you really think about it, you can have strategic planning in your own household. And because what strategic planning is, it sounds like a very um, scary two words when you think about it, but it's not. It's just really, where do you see yourself now as a family and where do you see yourself in the next year? So for us, our approach, uh, we take it year by year and I have to give a shout out to my friend Nelvin and Becky who uh, provide me this idea when we got married and um, when we got married, so he gave us um, share his thought process, also his strategic planning, and I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. So I picked it up and I've been kind of adopting it ever since. Anywho, so here goes, and I'm gonna show you um, kind of our strategic planning sessions. Please don't judge, it's very messy, and um, I'm very, I'm into technology, but then I also love to write out things, because I feel like when I write it out and visualize it, it seems closer and I'm able to see it every day. So that's why for us, um, after I, we got married for a year, my husband and I sat down and we did our strategic planning session. And for those wifeys out there who um, go in to bring this topic up with your hubby, don't expect them to be like, oh yeah, let's do this. Or like, oh wow, this is a great idea. My husband was like, we're gonna do a what? Strategic planning? What are you talking about? You know, like he's not a businessman and he's not um, into all this goal setting and whatnot like I am. So he was just like, okay, all right, you're crazy, but I'll go along with you because I love you. And so we did. Okay, so um, we went very high tech. No, we didn't. We went just with, I literally have a notebook that I, I have and um, I just start writing down the year at the very top. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I won't. Sh um, and I split it into like four quadrant. Super messy, like I said, but it makes sense to us. And we split into, you know, career um, as well as our goals for our house, our health, relationship, community, and personal experiences. So under career and finance, we talk about um, what. Back in 2018, I still had student loans, so one of the goals was to pay off my student loan. Uh, we recently got a house um, in 2018, so our, we talked about when do we want to pay it off and how much we would need to pay off by the time, um, setting the goal to pay it off by the time that we want to pay it off. Uh, we also talk about emergency fund. Um, highly recommend for couples out there who don't have emergency fund to start saving. We start out at zero. And so we're like, okay, let's start out with like $500 a month um, and 6,000 for this year of 2018, for example. We also, um, for our house, we, did, we didn't do escrow, meaning that we are going to pay the full tax at the end of the year. So we want to make sure that we also prepare for that. So we set amount of, um, a set amount of money at the end of each month to save up for at the end of the year to pay for HOA fee and tax so we don't get surprised. Um, and then also just other financial goals that you want to set, but those are kind of our initial um, first year marriage setting out for career slash finance. And then in terms of health, we were talking about going to work out like three times a week. I didn't know how to swim back in 2018, so I put swimming as one of my goals to learn how to swim and um, taking classes. And for relationships and community, we talked about going volunteering, 
and setting out family plan um, back then with just the two of us and then we're talking about when we want to start family planning so we kind of talk about things like that um, in addition um, I'm a big a advocate to volunteer and give back to community so our goal is to volunteer one time a year and of course weddings and all the social and things uh, fa family gathering that we need to plan and, uh, for under person experiences we put like travel plans that we have so um, you know from statistic most Americans don't take their vacation so we're really trying to be intentional with our vacation so we try to plan for at least one trip um, a, a week trip for that for that year that we look forward to so we do I mean originally we planned for three trips but I think we would have been too ambitious but we did end up going to uh, end up going to one trip out of the three that we plan which is good so and one thing I would say is that you know don't be so wedded to this strategic goals that you have set you know things change life happens um, emergency things happen other circumstances arise so it's okay but I think it's always good to have some sort of goals written down and the most important thing is that you and your husband or you and your significant other have discussed the major pillars of your life that um, allow you to have a successful marriage because I would say um, you know most fights originate from um, conflicts and also fin finances so being able to be on the same page where things go and how to deliberately um, divide the task and be able to make sure that you guys have the same goals in terms of finance, uh, career-wise, um, personal experiences, trips, volunteer, all that encompass family planning. Um, I think that's really important because you would be able to um, have a more successful relationship building as you are sitting down and talking about the big pillars in your marriage and your life and over your personal life and of course you could very well do this for your work life but today I just want to share on the personal life so that was 2018 um, 2019 we kind of kept the same big pillars and similar goals as well that we had um, and then with 2020 after we have our baby boy we have to uh, start thinking about things for him like so life insurance um, you know things that you have to plan when you're a parent because now you have someone dependent on you. So one thing we also consider this year is life insurance, daycare cost, um, his 529 college fund um, invest early. I mean, we put like $100 in it a month. It's not substantial, but it's at least something. Um, so those are all the things that we talked about regarding kind of our strategic planning. So I hope you find that helpful and of course feel free to tweak it however you see fit um, in terms of all the pillars of your and you know the major pillars of your relationship and marriage and um, just really being able to be honest and be transparent with each other so you guys can have a very um, honest and open relationship and be able to share with each other openly regarding all these major part of your life and, and part of your household and minimize the conflicts that you may have in the future. If you have other pillars that you're considering or other strategies that you use for your um, household, please share below. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.